did talk about your hair, and you've talked about your hair. I mean, it is part of the iconic look. What do you do? What is your hair regimen every day? Because I feel like your hair looks a little off today. Yeah, yeah. So I, well, it's wet. It's wet right now. I took a shower. Oh. So yeah, it's a little bit wet. So it's uh, off. I wouldn't say off, but uh, you can use that word off. But you know, if you come to my concert tonight, it'll be, it'll be dry and luxurious. <laughs> In, in, in that documentary, you also talk about, I mean, you take showers, obviously, and you wash your hair, yes. but you don't always use shampoo. No, no, no. I don't think you need to do that. I mean, uh, not to say my hair's dirty. It's not dirty. Uh, I, I, I take good care of myself, uh, but I don't think you really need to wash your hair with shampoo every day. That's my regimen. I think it's worked pretty well. No, no grays. The hair's still there at my age. You know, I think that... I'm sure genetics had a lot to do with it, but I think that at my my caring for myself and not maybe over chemicalizing my hair might have something to do with it. Who knows? I don't Who know. You know what? It, you're terrific, and your music is phenomenal. And uh, tickets are available to come see you. Yeah, come come and see us. I, I guarantee you, you'll be shocked at how much fun you're going to have because it's fun. Our shows are fun. They're not sleepy. Great musicianship. I'm super proud of my guys. I think we put on a great show. We've been doing our live performances for you know over 40 years, so we should be pretty good at it. People still want to see us play. Should be pretty though. good at Lucky it. Lucky us. You you crack me up. Uh, okay, go see him uh, playing Town Hall, part of the Blue Note Jazz Festival, Friday, eight o'clock. You can go to bluenotejazzfestival.com. Kenny G, all the best to you. Break a leg. Thanks. Good to see you again. It was great seeing you at Clive Davis's party as well. So I know. We had, to see you. we had a good time. You stole the microphone from me, and you remember <laughs> you were interviewing Tommy Mottola. I used to be so scared of Tommy Mottola, you know, and now that we've gotten older, it's like I always thought, oh, I can actually give him a little bit of a, of a jibe that night, which I said something like, hey, Tommy, how come you never called me? And he says, because Clive wouldn't let me. <laughs> and I love the answer. Clive uh, obviously nurtured you and Fantastic man. All right. Yeah, we owe a lot to Clive. Kenny G, all the best.